Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm having issues with my battery on my Audi um, Q2 motor. Um, so I think it's I think it's done almost. It's done a couple of years. I'm sure it's 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 a corner. I've checked with the multimeter and I've also checked with the diagnostic tool and my voltage is kaput. Um, I did a bit of drive, 30 plus minutes, and it didn't really improve much on the voltage. So, as you, as well as you might know, with these cars, um, especially the the modern uh, German cars, the Benz VW, um, Audi, BMW, um, these batteries, uh, you don't just go to a shop get it battery and change it um there is a procedure that you follow um, in which you're supposed to register the battery that you're replacing um the reason why is because these battery uh, monitoring systems in these cars they do charge regulation and it will automatically uh, charge appropriately based on the uh, registration information that you, you input to it. So before I, uh, I, I get a new battery, I need to make sure that my Ansel VT700 can um, actually do a battery registration. So I'm just going to check that out now. Um, this is not a, a crafter, so I'll select the then I'll go to special functions. Um, I'll go to there. So there's a battery registration function there. Um, so we've got the battery energy control module regulation. So I know that this function is, exists. So if I order a battery online. Uh, I'm going to show you in part two of the video. We're going to do the re battery re registration together. Um, let's just see what these functions are. Communicate 